everybody, and a very good evening to you. Welcome to the second of the fabulous Fender Facebook Live events. We're here in London at our Artist Relations Centre. Uh, I have joining me the fabulous Lucy Rose, who we're going to have a chat to uh, about her use of acoustic <coughs> guitars and about her new album, etc., etc., and how she likes the guitars and how she uses them. I am going to run through... Uh, the range of Paramount guitars for you guys tonight. Very quickly, I'm not going to blind you with science, I'm not going to get it into it too deeply. After all, acoustic guitars really are about performing, they're about writing songs. And the Fender Paramount range are designed exactly for those purposes. Now, we have three body models uh, and two sets of woods that they're made out of. So, very quickly, I'll run through those. The first one, which is the guitar that I have here, is obviously a dreadnought guitar. Okay, now dreadnoughts, the original, the earliest steel string guitars that were made, fabulous for strumming, uh, great for flat picking as well. This one we have here in particular is the deluxe version, which means it's got a spruce top, nice and bright, plenty of definition and clarity, and a rosewood back and sides, which just gives it a little bit more warmth, um, especially on the bottom end and in the mid range. And also worth noting is that the preamps designed by Fender and Fishman are specific to each model, designed to absolutely bring out the inherent tonality of the body shapes. So I'm going to give this a quick strum, and you can have a listen, see how it sounds. Drum sounds fabulous. You want to sit around the campfire, sit at home writing songs, playing songs. It's perfect for that. Great for flat picking. Probably a bit fast for acoustic. You're not supposed to do that on acoustic guitars. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is move on to the next model in the range, which is the rather delightful and much smaller parlor guitar. So I'm just going to swap these over now. So if dreadnoughts are traditionally used for strumming, playing songs, writing songs. Parlour guitars, due to their size, tend to have a little bit more mid-range, not so much bottom end specifically. Um, I can't see those. Um, so I've tuned this one to uh, open G, um, and I'm going to play a little bit of finger style on it uh, so you can hear how it sounds. <laughs> So that's the parlor guitar. This one, as I say, spruce top and the mahogany back and side. So loads of clarity. The great thing about parlor guitars as well is it makes a great travel guitar. Take it anywhere that you want. Great guitar just to have lying around the house. Great for recording as well because, because it's not got much bottom end. Really clear, really clean, loads and loads of clarity. Now, finally, the last body shape in the Paramount range is... I would call it a treble O body shape. Some people might call it a folk body shape. In this particular range of guitars. Comes with a cutaway. So if you do find yourself playing, uh, and you do need to get right up here, which some people do, uh, then it's perfect for that as well. Um, also, what we have done, this is one of the special limited runs that we've done for this year with a double A grade Adirondack spruce top, uh, and it's also finished in nitro lacquer. So a guitar like this is a great all-rounder. If you want a guitar that will do just about anything, if you find yourself doing lots of gigs and recording, like Lucy does, or if you find yourself uh, doing lots and lots of gigs where you have to learn loads of different songs and play in loads of different styles, uh, then a guitar like this is absolutely perfect for that. Sounds great strummed. <laughs> Great finger pick. But 
Mars Warn, no jazz. That's absolutely not acceptable uh, this evening. So we're not going to do that. Um, so a great all-rounder, great film. Now, this brings us on very, very nicely to uh, our lovely <coughs> guest, Lucy. How are you doing? Yeah, you good. All right? Not bad. Because this is the guitar that you have been yeah. using, that uh, Neil, our lovely A&R man, has, uh, has given to you yeah. to utilise. Um, first of off, a little bit about you, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you are a singer-songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you've just finished a new album. That's right, I yeah. Believe. And when's that out? It's going to be out this summer, July the 7th, yeah. Fabulous. And you were saying earlier, I believe you're going off on a tour tomorrow as well. Yeah, heading to Buenos Aires tomorrow, so uh, starting like a tour in Latin America, which will be good. Wicked. So thank you for coming in. No problem. You should have been at home packing or I should be, doing yeah, something right, like yeah. that. That's <laughs> fabulous. So is the, is the guitar one of your primary instruments for writing? And yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've written uh, most of my songs on guitar, um, all on acoustic guitar nearly, and then some of them I've put onto electric later yeah. on, but for writing, yeah, nearly everything on this. And that's something you've always done right from day one? Is that what got you into... Yeah, I guess so. I think um, we had a piano at home, which I used to like play around with, and uh, it was only after I sort of writing a few songs on that I decided to buy a guitar and just taught myself how to play it at home, and then that was where it kind of started. Fabulous. And this particular guitar, as I say, this is like the the cutaway treble one. I find it extremely comfortable. Yeah. Because um, certainly, you know, dreadnoughts can be kind of big and bulky. Um, so when you're playing, is that something that? Uh, that is important to you that you know I think I'm so easy. small as well I'm like I think because I'm such a small person sometimes yeah. when I was playing like a full body acoustic it just felt too big and these are quite thin as well, these are quite they? thin so, yeah. yeah they're just really easy I, could, I used to think you know sometimes can get shoulder ache from playing quite a lot and with these I don't so brilliant yeah uh, and a lot of acoustic guitar on the new album yeah, definitely. I guess from like traveling around more so, um, we did another eight weeks in Latin America last year and it was just like me and a guitar. Yeah. And it's quite good. Um, well, it's really made me fall back in love with just playing acoustic music again because you can get a bit, you know, stuck on all the lights and yeah. the show and all that it's stuff. It's very intimate, but isn't it? And very it's what it's really about, isn't it? Yeah, so. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, and I think you are, you're going to play us a song. Is it going yeah. to be a song from the new album? Yeah, this is a song from the new record, and uh, it's like the first time ever I did a, when we were recording just like a live uh, take me and a guitar. I've never been brave enough to do it before, so... Um, nowhere yeah. to hide. Nowhere to hide Absolutely. in those sort of things. I've always said the imperfections make things perfect, but I've never really um, gone for it like I did this time. Brilliant. Okay, so Lucy's going to play this song for us in a sec. Ask us some questions, guys, because we've got all these fabulous guitars here, and I'm sure you're all out there thinking, hmm, what is the inherent tonal difference between this wood and that wood, or... Uh, is there a phase inverter on the preamp? And what does that do? Uh, what are the controls? That kind of thing. So if you've got any of those questions, I'm happy uh, to answer those for you. So now I'll leave it up to you, Lucy. And Thank you. Play our song. Thanks. <laughs>
your disapproval class Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we've had a few questions in, which is fabulous, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did, because that was absolutely amazing. Um, there's a few people who have said things like, what's your favourite body shape? Um, without getting into any trouble, um, I would say probably the treble O, because it is the most versatile guitar, I think, and maybe you'd agree. You can strum, you can hit it hard, you can finger pick, uh, you can flat pick on it uh, as well. So... Super versatile uh, and a great sounding guitar. Uh, I like the mahogany one as well because if you're playing live and especially playing all over the place, uh, it's, uh, it's very stable and it gives you a really consistent sound. Somebody has suggested that, um, in fact, tone woods are a load of nonsense and that it doesn't really matter what guitars are made out of. Um, and I would, just, I would suggest that having played literally thousands and thousands of guitars, uh, acoustic and electric, as of a lot of guys who are here tonight, it does make a big difference. And whether the top is solid uh, makes a big difference as well, and also the back and sides, because if it's made of laminated wood, the sound that you, that you play the first day that you get it is always going to sound like that. But if it's a solid wood guitar, especially a solid top, the more you play it, the wood loosens up, the bracing loosens up, and you get more mid-range and more bass. So tone woods are very important, in my humble opinion. Um, somebody else has pointed out, just behind me here, there are some extremely cool uh, all mahogany guitars, which is something that we've bought out this year. Um, now, talking about tones and tone woods, if I dare, um, all mahogany guitars just tend to be a little bit softer and a little bit warmer sounding uh, the guitars that have a, a spruce top or maybe even a cedar top. So a nice, really big, warm, round sound. So as you can see, um, in the Paramount range, you know, there's something for everybody. You could be a, uh, it could be a parlor guitar with a spruce top, it could be a dreadnought with rosewood back and sides, or it could be all mahogany. And as ever, the thing to do is, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, is to pop down to your local friendly guitar dealer, if there are any friendly guitar dealers near you, uh, and try them out, because again, how the guitar feels to you, like you were saying, whether it's comfortable, how it feels, you know, how you interact with it, is really, really important. But the mahogany guitars are great. Real nice kind of mellow sound. Think Nick Drake, because that's what uh, he used to use. Ah, someone has said, what is the amplifier behind me? Uh, it is one of the brand new Fender uh, Acoustasonic amps. Um, I'm not sure, what's the wattage of this one? It's the SFX. It's the SFX. <laughs> Uh, which has two channels, built-in effects, uh, everything you could ever possibly need. We've only just got it slightly, uh, slightly on, really, just to give a little bit of ambience in the room. So, uh, any more questions from anybody? If you're enjoying this, folks, I hope you are, because we are, um, we'd like you to tell us what you would like to see us do, whether you would like more electric stuff, would you like us to do some uh, Facebook Live things on setting up amps, how to get sounds, what's the difference between a Strat and a Tele, all that kind of stuff. Or would you like more artist participation, like Lucy has kindly come down. And it's 80 watts stereo, the amp that I'm playing through. Someone's just <laughs> held something up and gone, 80 watts stereo. That's twice 40 watts, that's 80 watts stereo. It's loud, it's big, uh, uh, it sounds great, great, great live amp. Okay, so I guess, really, with... Uh, Uh, do you know someone called Hannah McLean? Potentially, Potentially. Yeah. I mean... Says, can you tell Lucy oh, looks no. great wearing chips? Oh, Thanks. I do look good wearing chips. Really? Is that an uh, apocryphal story or do we not go there? <laughs> that was just a, um, I did a music video where for fun I dressed up in a whole outfit made of chips and and got seagulls to attack me. So, really? Sure. Like yeah. a vegetarian Lady Gaga? It, very Almost. similar, yeah, very yeah. similar, exactly. Oh, yeah. fabulous. Thank you. Now, what string gauges do they come in? Um, I believe that the uh, strings on this, these guitars are 11s. 
mm. uh, plus one, which is 12, which is my favorite <laughs> string guide, sort of favorite string gauge on the top. So 12 to 52. Thank you very much. Uh, and very good strings. Fender have really upped their game in the last few years and put a lot of money, time, and research and development into their strings. Um, so whereas before, we weren't particularly known as a, as a good string manufacturer. Now, they are really very, very good indeed. OK, any more questions? No more questions? OK, guys, well, thank you very, very much uh, for watching. Um, don't forget, please uh, send us ideas of what you'd like to see. Follow us, then you'll be, you, you will know um, what's coming up, what we're going to do. We're going to do a load more of these, apparently, I've been told today, so it's been a whole lot of fun. Most importantly, I hope you liked the guitars. Um, what we've not done is tried to blind you with science and tell you everything, every single thing about it. thought it was better to put them in the hands of a, a proper, very talented singer-songwriter, someone who uses them every day, uses them uh, to write with and to use, and use them live and that stuff as well. Okay, so my name is Damon Chivers. This is Lucy Rose. Look out for you on the road, I guess. Yeah, please do. And look out for the new album, especially, which is coming out soon. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.